hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl blue lotus priestess here and thank you so much for joining me here in today's reading and in another video so today's reading is going to focus on your weekly forecast for um monday august 29th through sunday september 4th and oh my gosh can't believe we're getting into september already but you know we're in the burr months now and yeah it's the best time of the year so <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and jump right in um oh before we jump in though i do just want to say thank you guys so much um for your patience and understanding your continued support um i definitely tried to post a weekly forecast for last week um but i was just having so many technical issues so i was just like you know i was still trying to get the message out but like it just wasn't working but so i decided i wasn't gonna do the video but i still wanted to have the the post or the reading out there for whoever needed to hear it so if you missed it and you would like to check it out i have all the links in the description below i did post it on my other platforms so feel free to check it out if you feel guided um but yeah enough with the announcements let's go ahead and jump right in so let's see we, Ooh, okay wow y'all we have three four five. Oh my gosh as your angel number for the week wow yeah so definitely maybe you're seeing 345 on the clock you're paying for something an address telephone you know whatever it is maybe you're already seeing that or maybe you'll be seeing this number after watching this reading and if so that'll just be confirmation that this is definitely your reading or at least something was in that was in here was for you um 345 yeah i definitely feel like forward movement i feel like i've been saying that though in the past couple like readings or for the past couple of weeks that like things are gonna move forward um, but it's so funny because I just recorded a reading and it was talking about things going backwards, but now we're doing this reading and things are going forwards. So, um, I definitely feel like either things have been slowly starting to move forward or definitely this week you'll be able to start seeing things move forward. Yeah, even now cutting the deck at the seven of pentacles and eight of pentacles. So again, even more forward movement and it's pentacles. So this could definitely be with like your home, work, stability, something like that. It's something within your material or tangible world, okay? Um, but anywho, so let's go ahead. That was your angel number for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into a potential challenge that you might face for the week ahead. What is a potential? Ooh, okay. It kind of... Ooh, Okay, so we have the hanged man, but like, I don't know if you guys saw, but it like kind of went like this. So I feel like 333 on the clock. Um, I'm going to take it in the reverse because that's how I was feeling guided to read it today. So with the hanged man, though, for me, it's since it's in the reverse, this is actually somebody who's seen a new perspective, who's like either is like has either had a spiritual awakening, is going through a spiritual awakening or like is about to have some sort of spiritual awakening you know what i mean if it's not that this is just like somebody has become awakened or woke to some sort of new information insight you know what i mean like someone has gained clarity and it's shifted their perspective but also the hanged man for me when it's in reverse this is actually like moving forward because the hanged man is usually like being stuck at a standstill right so i feel like no i feel like um this is crazy though because it's a challenge so i feel like actually like blocks are going to be lifted hmm okay so we have the five of swords with the tower though in the world at the bottom of the deck dang and the emperor so three major arcanas back to back so you could like i don't know if you're learning three major lessons or if somebody else you're connected to or that's around you is learning three major lessons or there's just some sort of like some significant like your life isn't going to be the same after this week or if it's not your life it's going to be somebody else because what I'm actually kind of getting is like I'm trying to sit here and be like why would 
seeing things from a new perspective or forward movement be a challenge for you unless that's what you're wanting because even then three four five so forward movement but with the five of swords what i'm actually getting is i feel like it might be a challenge that like or it might be a challenge for somebody else excuse me that you get to move forward <laughs> if that makes sense like I don't know because last week I also picked up on some hater energy too where like somebody was mad about somebody else receiving an opportunity so it's like the five of swords yeah jealous envious bitter you know what I mean they might feel defeated they're playing mind games or like trying to manipulate but it, there's going to be some sort of tower moment you know so life isn't going to be the same and it's going to definitely cause somebody to like somebody to have like shifts in their life you know what i mean yeah things could move forward especially like i don't know like if you're doing something online you know what i mean like maybe you're going to start going viral or like start picking up like um more growth you know what i mean more um what do i want to say how do i say like getting your foot out there more like being more known for something um because like you have with this emperor like you're a leader or you have some sort of authority or status right and it's like this person could be jealous of that okay anyway so let's tell me more about the hangman in reverse why is this a challenge for the collective this week Dang, you guys hear all them crows? Okay, I don't know if that's going to resonate. Dang, yeah, we have the fool. Yeah, a new beginning, a whole fresh start, a whole ass fresh start. You know what I mean? A fresh start, a new beginning, taking a risk or taking a leap of faith. So yeah, you're moving forward. Maybe it's still challenging because it's like you've gained clarity on what action you do need to take, but it's like you find that action or what you have to do challenging yeah because it requires you to either learn something new like step outside of your comfort zone start a new trade go back to school something like that you know what i mean or even get more research yeah queen of cups so this is definitely something you're very i feel like, like i feel like you're very emotionally attached to it or it's like you have a lot of feelings or emotions with it definitely you could be intuitive sensitive empathetic loving yeah with the ace of cups you have a lot of love to give like you you i feel like you have a lot of get love to give but you also receive a lot of love and like especially with the ace of cups too like you this is going to be some sort of new beginning or blessing or opportunity you know what i mean something like that that makes you emotionally fulfilled and satisfied this could definitely be meeting somebody new or like true love love at first sight perfect match type of thing yeah you're waiting on growth or expansion yeah with the ace of swords so that's the truth so that way you can maybe level up or something let's get one more energy on this why this might be a challenge. Uh oh, we have one in Lambo. Ooh, the Seven of Wands. Okay, so definitely like. So in Limbo, for me, this is like protection, but it's also being defensive. So it's like in Limbo, just be. It's like, since it's in Limbo for me, what I'm taking, like, what I'm getting from this is it's like. It's like have the confidence in knowing that you're protected and that you also have like some sort of advantage or higher ground over whoever this jealous person or people, you know, these jealous people are, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like don't get defensive, don't stoop down to their level, don't let them get a reaction out of you, don't let them, you know what I mean? Like, because especially if they're jealous, they're going to try to do stuff to like push your buttons and make you get defensive or react you know what I mean they want to see you upset so it's like if you can pick up that 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 like you're starting to get defensive or starting to get upset it's like try to just be aware of that you know what I mean I feel like just be more mindful yeah of like your emotions because maybe you are trying to have like a new start and a new beginning it's like maybe because you are more conscious awakened mindful now you're just trying to be mindful of how you communicate or express your emotions or how people view you you know what i mean 
um, with the, the magician at the bottom of the deck, yeah, you definitely could be uh, manifesting, but dang, with the magician and the queen of wands too, there could definitely be somebody who's like trying to, yeah, manipulate, could be using like, yeah, spells, magic, or something like that, or could just even be sending you the evil eye too. So definitely just keep in mind, yeah. This person, because in this specific deck, I always see this magician as like somebody who does like have more negative intentions or isn't manifesting from like a good place, you know what I mean? And with the five of cups too, it's like pain, loss, grief, heartbreak, disappointment. Hmm. So let's get some advice on this situation. I just cut the deck at gratitude list. So maybe the universe or your guides are asking you to, um, to um, show a little bit more gratitude. So that way you can continue to manifest as well with that magician. Because it's like stand your ground still with that queen of wands. Like you're a visionary. You know what I mean? You're confident, attractive. You have... Um, a vision or this creativity this passion to you you know what i mean so it's like you can manifest anything that it is that you want what is the advice for the viewer for this challenge please for the week ahead oh my gosh okay that is definitely <laughs> Okay, well, at the bottom of the deck, though, we have let go of guilt, so maybe that's, like, something, though. That's definitely for someone, but I just feel like that was very chaotic energy. Yeah, guarded and protected. You're being guarded and protected at this time, so just, yeah, don't don't get defensive, okay? There's, there's no need if you have that divine protection, you know? Yeah, dang, you can't make it up, y'all. Let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Wow, 1212 on the clock too. And that to me also speaks about your angels. Wow. Okay. And the hanged man is 12. Okay. Maybe you're seeing 1212. Yeah, I feel like you have, like I said, something has shifted your perspective. You've gained some sort of higher awareness or consciousness. But it's like, I feel like because of something from the past, it's like maybe you don't forgive yourself or others or both. But it's like with that Ace of Cups, like also maybe too with this Queen of Cups because of the Ace of Cups, maybe it's like this has to talk about self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-worth. You know what I mean? Like giving yourself that unconditional love because maybe you love others unconditionally, but it's like you also need to love yourself unconditionally. You know what I mean? Hmm. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says, though, real quick. Bountiful nature. Yeah, maybe um, spending some time in nature to help ground yourself or get some fresh air. I feel like you have various or different angels around you with the two angels on this let go of guilt. But even like I said, with 1212, yeah, you don't have to forgive your, you don't have to be upset with yourself. It like, it's in the past, you know what I mean? Okay, I don't think anything else is coming out though. Do the work, yeah, do the work to heal yourself, to stay positive, to make the positive changes that you need to. So let's just get some angel number 666 could resonate for you as well. That definitely talks about peace, balance, harmony, alignment. So you could definitely be getting more into alignment again if you feel like you went off course. So let's get a potential future outcome for this situation. What is a potential future outcome the viewer can expect by the end of the week? Oop. <laughs> Oh man, Eight of Swords, really? Okay, so the Eight of Swords for me, it talks about a jail card. So I don't know who this is, or like for somebody, but somebody could be going to jail or like be caught up like with the legal system or the justice system, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, if it's not that, I definitely also just feel like someone could feel trapped, bound to a situation feeling as if there's no resolution, there's no compromise, there's no way out, there's no way to get through it. It's like being in your own prison, but it's like also being overwhelmed in your mind, 
non-stop thinking about something hmm yeah dang okay with temperance yeah this is definitely like patience balance harmony staying in tune or you know what i mean in balance with yourself the universe like i said not getting defensive or letting people upset you okay why is the eight of swords here as a potential because king of wands with the ace of pentacles but somebody's watching dang and it could definitely be a counterpart but that's what could be revealed and that's why you're needing to like maybe move in silence or stay in hermit mode before celebrating 333 three, three could resonate okay so so either you, like you could be an aries leo sagittarius that you know could be going to jail or just feels like very stuck trapped bound to a situation or if not you this could be somebody else they don't have to be an aries leo sagittarius but again it's somebody who's very like confident has high self-esteem knows their self-worth they're a visionary they're creative a leader they stand their ground they hold their vision you know what i mean they could be very attractive as well and there's definitely like i said there's some sort of or how i was channeling because of how this was also carrying in from last week too like there's some sort of tangible new beginning blessing opportunity but it's it's like it, it's gonna help somebody's security prosperity stability all of that you know what i mean somebody's definitely going to be receiving and they're going to be very prosperous but it's like somebody's watching and it could definitely with the queen of wands we have a perfect match here like it could be somebody's counterpart or ex or something like that it could because the queen of wands is a third party too so it's either like account like somebody you're in a commitment with or somebody that you thought was your perfect match or somebody that's a third party and either like they're watching you you're watching them you know what i mean flip the roles however it resonates but it's like i feel like somebody knows that there is this this new beginning and it's like they're in their head about it so yeah definitely something's been either something has been illuminated revealed exposed or something will be with the sun and definitely with the sun and how the star is here with the hermit, I definitely feel like, like I said, it's like an inner awareness or an awakening or something. Okay, so maybe the potential future outcome, though, is don't overwhelm yourself or don't feel overwhelmed or stay in an energy of feeling overwhelmed for long or in your head and overthinking for long because it's like you're regenerating right now. And maybe that's why you're also needing to spend time of, in nature to release some of that heaviness, you know what I mean? But I definitely feel like there could be a third party watching. Oof, okay, because yeah, sometimes the a ooh. Okay, because I always see the Ace of Pentacles too as like an engagement ring or like engagement. So like with the perfect match, like is somebody watching? Oh, is somebody in their head because like they want to be, like they want to get engaged, they want to get proposed to. And it's like they're watching, waiting, observing. Or is like some out. Mm. Okay, what is this Ace of Pentacles? I just want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the sun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have the sun and the nine of um, nine of cups. So like, yeah, I definitely feel like somebody's going to like, yeah, somebody's going to reveal, expose or like something's going to be revealed, exposed, illuminated, something like that. But it's going to make somebody very happy or it definitely potentially could make somebody very happy with the nine of cups, but it's in limbo. So I definitely feel like it's like a manifestation pending, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's what's going to be illuminated is like exactly somebody has had this this new beginning, this blessing, this opportunity or possibly even getting engaged to, you know what I mean? And getting... um like a uh what you call it um like leveling up in the connection you know what i mean and that's going to make somebody very happy but it's like because they're they're watching they're in their head about it they're like you know what i mean like when's it gonna happen what's going on things like that so maybe it's like yeah inside yeah 
somebody deep down they know what their their ten of cups their disney happily ever after is but there definitely could be some sort of like rebirth transformation or like ending somebody has gone through but like yeah don't give up because right now there's divine intervention at play yeah there could definitely be a flighty energy though that's very deceptive doing things in secret lying cheating stealing but you see through the illusions you see through the bs okay and you're just healing because i definitely feel like you know some sort of truth about yeah yeah look y'all with the queen of swords the four of swords the the king of swords and the three of swords yeah definitely this could involve some sort of perfect match where somebody's like divorced or not seeing eye to eye and it's like somebody's sitting on the truth they know what has caused pain and it's like they're just trying to heal but they see through the illusions from the other energy wow okay well i don't know who that was for but let's see we're at 21 minutes basically so yeah okay just know you're manifesting so stay strong and also just be mindful of your energy and your mindset while you're manifesting because that's what's going to come back to you um so definitely just continue to stay strong persevere okay perseverance is your superpower right now and it's your strength yeah destiny divine timing will of fortune you know fate has its eyes on you okay um i just want to get um another challenge let's see if we can run through it quickly since this one took 20 minutes let's see what's another challenge for the collect dang oh. <laughs> we have the wheel of fortune y'all oh my gosh as another <laughs> yeah with the high priestess like it's a challenge you know okay you know something's faded or you know or because it's like with that temperance it's like you've been having to wait so it's like patience divine timing right this is good luck good fortune alignment your destiny okay something's definitely going to work out or it's going to manifest in divine timing and i feel like you have an inner knowing about it you have an inner knowing that you're going to be living this like happily disney uh lifestyle you know what i mean where it's like um unconditional love happily ever after type just being emotionally fulfilled you know you're about to receive something like that so it's like you're trying to or you know okay maybe you know something about your destiny or your birth chart or something like that or you just know that you're going to receive something with divine timing so it's like yeah ten of cups you're trying to stay high vibe while staying in hermit mode and healing because yeah ace of cups again you know you're about to get this blessing that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you and it's going to help you grow and expand but you're just trying to wait for it you know what i mean like this could definitely be something you've been waiting six months to a year for but yeah again somebody's watching in despair as you live this luxurious life and they don't agree with something but there's going to be an epiphany moment anyways okay so why is the wheel <laughs> a challenge this week destiny okay queen of pentacles yeah you could definitely be um very hard working dependable loyal stable committed um humble respectful you know everything you touch turns to gold and 23 23 on the clock maybe you're 23 or 23 oh 2023 could oh okay so maybe because you're waiting up for something but how we just saw 23 maybe it's not going to manifest until like 2023 but it's like, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, this is definitely somebody who's very abundant already, okay? Um, so you could definitely be, like, working hard on something, like, on your own business, or you're just working on something. You're dedicated to it, right? And you know that the more you work on it, like, the wheel's just going to keep turning for you and continuing to bring you more blessings with divine timing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You're determined to move forward with this... Um, this new beginning with something tangible yeah here's the ace of pentacles again like i said you know you're gonna have this and it's you're determined to have it you're determined to move forward and have victory and success but i still feel like either it's this has been non-stop on your mind of like let me get this or when am i gonna get this or it's like there's another energy like i said a third party that's like stressed out worried anxious in despair they're watching anyways tell me more about this wheel and queen of pentacles i feel like you're like you're just preparing yeah 
temperance, peace, balance, harmony, alignment. Like I said, this is definitely something that it's already been taking six months to a year or like this could be something like six months to a year from now. So then that also fits with 2023, like how I was saying. Yeah, this is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting something that's in a, you're man, okay. You're manifesting a tangible opportunity that's going to be very secure, prosperous, long lasting for you, right? And it's like, you're, you're just manifesting and waiting for that, that divine timing, that wheel of fortune, that good luck, you know? And it's like, this could be something you've already been working on for a long time now, or it's like, you're trying to put in the work as well. So that way you can have this. But it's like a challenge because it's like it could be testing your patience, but you're holding. Yeah, you're holding. Yeah, you're determined. And look at all this. You're holding on. You're attached to this manifestation or whatever it is you're wanting. You're determined to have it and take action and move towards victory and success. Hmm. So this is definitely something that's going to be in alignment with you. I feel like it's just uh, like I'm just getting a very impatient energy. Like I feel like this is just really testing your patience because it's like you just have that knowing. You can feel it. You can sense it. Maybe you keep getting signs, synchronicities about it. Yeah, but you're in a transition period right now. Endings and beginnings. Yeah, you're ending something so you can have a new passionate beginning and it's going to be revealed to you when it's time, you know, like when it's time for you to learn something new or time for you to take action on this. But you could also like have something be re like you could learn something new and it's revealed to you about somebody who's jealous, who feels trapped and bound to a situation and it's heavy because it definitely could be a, a friend, a family member or a sibling, even a mother possibly or a sister, some sort of feminine energy. Yeah, but there's definitely good news coming about like a soulmate or a true match or like a star. You know what I mean? Hmm. Dang, yeah. Magician, Ace of Cups, and Three of Wands again. Yeah, I'm about to leave it at that. Yeah, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You have an offer um, coming in. It might be a sm or like, okay, so because the Knight of Cups is like taking action right so maybe you're being guided to take action to move to like give someone or something a small offer or gesture or like someone is or like a company is going to come forward with divine in divine timing to offer you some sort of small offer or gesture you know what i mean but yeah magician ace of cups and three of wands again you're manifesting this emotionally fulfilling new beginning or opportunity for you and it's going to help you grow and expand and evolve but you're just waiting on it okay i feel like like you keep you know how people like go like that with their clock like i feel like you're just like where it at you know like spirit where it at though <laughs> anywho it's manifesting with divine timing you know um just trust that so let's get some advice though still for this and this is just gonna again this is gonna resonate differently for all of you guys for some of you this is like a work opportunity for others of you this is like a relationship um you know for others this is like a, like i said a business starting your own channel something like that okay so however it resonates. The good thing though is the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. So yeah, fortune, fate, destiny is all on your side. What is some advice for the collective, for the viewer regarding this situation? Yeah, you're on the right path. Okay, what? Saying it louder for the people in the back. Who needs to hear it? Okay, you're on the right path. Let me let me go ahead and get it. Y'all see that? I'm putting it right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, y'all. I just feel really goofy right now. But like, yeah, you're on the right path. Okay, trust. Okay, you don't have to doubt yourself. You're doing everything right or you're doing everything that you need to do. Like how it says you're on the right path and your fate has its eyes on you. You know what I mean? So keep just doing you. You're already in alignment with what's meant for you. And you're just still like, balancing out you're still just growing evolving you know what i mean you don't have to worry about anything you're going to receive it when you're meant to yeah take your time making this decision though because like the what i'm getting is like 
I feel like how I said with that Knight of Cups, if some, if a company or something or someone comes forward, like, cause yeah, if this is for work or love, I feel like either a company might come forward or like someone might come forward with something small to offer you or say to you or something like that. And I feel like you may not think it's as like, you know, the opportunity you think it is, but I feel like it's like, yeah, take your time making this decision because it's still in alignment with you, but it's like, you might be judging that opportunity because it's not exactly being presented to you in the way that you wanted it to be presented in if that makes sense okay so i feel like yeah just take your time with it because yeah abundance mindset and release jealousy yeah why do i feel like okay hold on i feel like that so this is just a side note but i feel like yes take your time making this decision but why do i also feel like if this is related to love why do i feel like someone needs to take their time on who they choose to be with because i feel like somebody is in this abundance mindset energy like i'm getting very aligned like i said temperance earth angel very balanced abundant you know what i mean like could I don't know if I said it already but like could be an earth angel a healer very spiritual something like that you know what I mean and it's like all everything is in alignment for them right but then it's like there's this other person like how I kept picking up on this jealous energy so it's like you have a choice or someone has a choice between some either just having a a positive optimistic mindset versus you know having low vibe jealous envious scarcity types of mindsets and it's like take your time to make this decision of like what type of mindset you're in or somebody has a decision to make about two very different energies and one energy is very abundant very like i said earth angel vibes and the other is just very bitter resentful you know envious spoiled bratty self-absorbed selfish those types of things okay so that is definitely that's going to resonate for someone so i just thought i'd leave it out there but yeah no more complaining okay guys um it says complaints are affirmations of victimhood which is never true spiritually take back your god-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assertiveness watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality so yeah, I definitely feel like true, like how I said with your mindset, like, um, don't like, like how I said from the jump, if you're what like energy or mindset are you in when you're manifesting? Because that's going, yeah, even, yeah, literally the hermit, your inner, like inside on the inside, what are you manifesting? How are you manifesting? What are you telling yourself? You know, are you being grateful, positive, optimistic, healing, doing the work? You know what I mean? Telling yourself how abundant you are, that you are on the right path. Or are you doubting yourself, having fears, anxiety, worries, jealousy, things like that? Okay. Yeah. You're definitely, for some of you guys, yeah, you're definitely healing, um, or you are like because this is double manifestation so you really could be about to like have some sort of wish come true you're healing you're being more vulnerable the stars are aligning okay so let's just get a potential future outcome for the viewer by the end of the week for this situation what can the viewer potentially expect please dang y'all we have ten of pentacles wow yeah, you're about to be living a luxurious life or having a luxurious lifestyle or whatever that means to you. And I mean, yeah, with this Queen of Pentacles energy, like, I'm sure you're already, like I said, living some sort of abundance or luxurious lifestyle and like everybody's sense of luxury, you know, it's different. But I just feel like you're already comfortable and it's like you're just going to continue to be even more comfortable. You know what I mean? Like you're manifesting more abundance. Yeah, this is definitely legacy, empire, dynasty, generational wealth, just abundance, having that 10 of cups, unconditional love type of relationship with your perfect match, but also having the finances like, yeah, the 10 of pentacles, this is what everybody wants. And this is definitely your destiny. Um, now, I don't want to say you're just going to be by the end of the week, like on Sunday, come, you know what I mean? Five o'clock, you're going to be having this whole you know what I mean? Moving out, having this whole lifestyle, you know what I mean? I definitely feel like, again, with the temperance, this is something like just trust with that inner knowing, how I said with that high priestess, like you have an inner knowing that you're meant to have this luxurious lifestyle, right? But it's just about divine timing and things being in a lot. <laughs> 
<clears throat> excuse me okay um i was trying to say that like it's just you're just waiting for things to get into alignment okay yeah again the full even from the jump over here yeah a brand new fresh ass start or beginning taking a risk having a leap of faith yeah queen of pentacles too again yeah you're about to have a fresh start or a new beginning after experiencing some sort of painful ending or completion or feeling like you were stabbed in the back yeah three of wands these cards are just repeating themselves y'all you can't make it up you're you're about you're just waiting yeah you're waiting for this tower moment so that way you can possibly travel relocate or just in general you know you're being guided to calmer waters to more peaceful balanced times to things that are in alignment with you because exactly you're an emperor you're you have some sort of um leadership authority status you know what i mean four 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 yeah four three four is back to back y'all four 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 you're not gonna miss out on this opportunity okay whatever is meant for you is meant for you and it'll again manifest in divine timing yeah I feel like you're very emotionally attached to this new beginning, but you're also very, like, you see through the illusion, so you're just still manifesting and waiting for this. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful, y'all. This tower moment, your life, again, your life is never going to be the same, so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in today's reading. I enjoyed this reading or doing this reading for you guys so much. Um, let me know in the comments down below how this resonates or, you know, how it plays out for you for the week. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great week ahead. I hope, you know, everything turns out smoothly for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, um, or even if you feel guided to donate to my channel, all of that information will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much again. I will see you guys on the next one and I hope you have a great week. Bye. Take care.